Hey gang, welcome back for another Shining Hunting episode, the series where we go for rare splits on all of our best variants and cards. Now, y'all know I got like a thousand of these hats. I figured I'd pick my most colorful one for today, see if we can summon up some good luck for our splits. Last episode, my luck was pretty insane, so we're going to see if we can do it back to back. Now, today's episode is going to be much shorter than our normal ones typically are. It's a five-week season, and on these five-week seasons, I would definitely like to get two Shining Hunting episodes out. So today, we're just going to be splitting 12 cards, looking at variants that I picked up, but we're going to save viewer submissions and mystery variants for that big episode that drops on the same week that Infinity Conquest goes live. So you still got time to do viewer submissions. I'll have a link down to my Twitter if you'd like to send them. Now, before we jump into the splitting action i want to draw y'all's attention over to a screenshot i took from my phone if you now notice we have collector's token in the top left corner of the customization tab of our custom cards this used to be where the credits were we had credits top left gold top right but since the ota patch last week this has now been changed to show collector's tokens which to me highly indicates that we have some new cosmetics coming down the pipeline and it looks like they'll probably be purchasable with collector's tokens so yeah, this definitely has me feeling a certain kind of way. We'll definitely have to wait and see, but tokens are one of the most scarce and precious resources for players. This is how you collect cards to grow your collection and really strengthen your decks if you've got a key card that's missing. So I just can't see myself now using these tokens to buy cosmetics. I hoard them already. Y'all can see how many I got. The last card I bought was Cannonball because I just knew, hey, he's that good. He's worth picking up. But since Cannonball... I couldn't tell you the last time I spent tokens on, you know, a new card or heck, an ultimate variant. And now it seems like we might have even more cosmetics coming to try and pull some of those tokens. Yeah, I don't know. We are just going to have to wait and see, but definitely a change I noticed. Let me know down in the comments. Did you notice this change? Do you think that is what's coming? And uh, heck, how many tokens do you have saved up? My goodness. But anyways, I just wanted to touch on that. I think that is what's coming. A little alarming, but as always, we're not going to worry too much. We are going to wait and see. But let's get into the fun part of today's episode. Let's start splitting those cards. Now, returning viewers of the channel will definitely notice we got some old faces coming back. We're going to see if we can finally get those coveted splits on those cards, starting off with Nebula. Nebula has not given us an ink or gold. We're going to see if we can make that change today. We've got 12 splits to do, 11 cards, but we're doing two splits on the Red Guardian. So let's just go ahead and jump into it with Nebula. Now, like I said, we have gotten the blue Kirby Crackle, but no ink, no gold. Can we finally just make it happen today? I love this variant. I just need it inked. I need a gold. If you want to give me some Kirby Crackle, I will take that too. Please, let's get it done with Nebula. All right, my goodness, we finally got an ink. I was really nervous for a second. I was like, oh, no, it's just going to be another prism. All right, finally. My gosh. Now, moving on. We've got Quinjet. We've hit two Kirby Crackles on the Quinjet. But no ink, no gold, just like Nebula. Let's see if we can knock this one out, too. All right, still nothing with the Quinjet. Oh, we're just going to have to do it again. Now, Angela, we have hit three inks in a row. This is one of those variants. This is the last ultimate variant I picked up with those precious tokens we were talking about. We got, you know, if you spend 5,000 tokens on a variant, you got to get a God split. So we've gotten three inks, no gold. A gold would be great, but looking for that God split. Angela's a hot card. This is the best variant. We, we got to get that God split. We got to bling it out a little bit more. It's going to be a long time coming with Angela. Oh, man. All right. Moving on. We got Havoc. Uh, we've got the wrong one in there, though. Now we got the right Havoc in here. Now, this is only for an ink. This will be the fourth split on Havoc. Been playing a lot of Havoc lately. Really enjoying this card. So, yeah, let's see if we can get it inked out on the fourth split. All right. Not how, you know, this hat... This hat up here, this might be a one and done. Not making any more appearances. All right, we're one for four so far. Now we've got Jeff. We've gotten a single ink on all the times I've split Jeff. I need a, I need a, I, I play this card in just about every deck. I need to be looking at better splits on Jeff. All right, here we go. Hey, 
now we are talking. Ink with the blue Kirby Crackle to match the freaking Jeff lettering. Oh, it's going to look so good. I might, I might purchase a border. I might do it, y'all. Oh, I'm, I'm so freaking happy with this. All right, maybe the hat's going to stay. Oh. All right, we are going to be splitting Red Guardian twice. Uh, we can get Ink, Gold, Kirby Crackle. We're, we're far enough into the splits. We're going to start with the base here and then move on to the Luchador variant. Here we go. Got the ink. Nice. Now can we uh can we get gold on Luchador? Maybe another god split. Here we go. All right. All right. Not not a total bust. We got that ink. Now we got Nocturne. This is only split 5, I believe. 1 2 3 4 5. Yes. So only an ink or a gold here. Another card that is hot. Playing a lot of Nocturne. Another ink. You know, started off, started off kind of kind of weak. Not gonna lie, started off weak, but uh we're we're catching up now. Oh, I like this a lot. Huge fan of the ink. This is a good, uh, a great looking ink here. Now moving on to Loki. We do have, I'm, I know I'm going to mess this up trying to find the card to split. Uh, we do have an ink on Loki, but Loki is one of those cards that every card that he transforms and puts into your deck will take on the effects that he has. So Loki's one of those cards, like if you're going to uh, buy a border, Loki's probably one of your best investments here. Um, so we, we have the ink, but we want to do something a little bit better, a God split. We need a gold too, but I mean... A gospel would be, you know, what we're looking for here. Here we go. All right, another ink. That's all right. No gold, no god split. But, uh, you know, now we got a little bit different effect with the ink if if our heart just is desiring the uh, <laughs> blue flare, whatever this is called. All right, you know, I know what's going to happen. The same thing that happened with my boy Thanos a month or so ago. I got a guy split on Thanos, amazing split, and then they like nerfed him into the ground the following day. I know everyone's hoping, praying that we got some changes coming for Hella and the Professor X and Cannonball package. I, I just got a feeling I'm gonna get this amazing split and then never get to play Professor X because he's gonna be unplayable. What? Who knows? Who knows? But I got a feeling. But I would love to get this variant with a great split. Here we go. All right. There we go. We got the gold. Looking good here. Definitely going to put the gold border on that. Your days are numbered. <laughs> you may not know it, but your days are numbered. I got a feeling. Now, moving on with the Arnim Zola. We did get a gold split. But now we are looking, we're looking for an ink. It's a card I play in my destroy list, trying to have a full ink and a full gold in the destroy package. So we are looking for ink here. Not happening. All right. And then moving on to our last card, Sasquatch. Pretty new card. This is only the fourth split. So only, only an ink. If I put the right card in there, I'm getting really bad about that. <laughs> Here we go. All right, no ink, but not too shabby on the list. We're going to recap the episode as always, but first, let's take a look at all the newest variants I've picked up since the last episode. All right, so starting us off, we've got this yellow jacket. I love this yellow jacket. Definitely my favorite variant of yellow jacket in the game, but I uh, gotta say, not a card I play a whole lot. I'm not really sure where I got this card from. I did not spend gold on it or anything like that. It might have been from Twitch Drops. Can't really remember, but definitely a solid variant when I do find myself needing to play Yellow Jacket. Moving on, we've got several chibis in the list. We've got the Chibi Forge. We've got this Chibi Wolverine. I had to uh, I had to grab this one. I like having a ton of the Wolverine variants. I've got a God Split on Wolverine, which kind of entices me a little bit more to pick it up this is uh this is it in all its glory here 
looks good it looks really good in color uh but i don't have like a gold split on wolverine yet uh but yeah this uh this is solid here now i did i did pick up the dan hip hulk buster like i said i'm working on the full ink and gold of the destroy packages i'm just gonna have to bite the bullet and do it for hulk buster even though you like never see the card love this variant of hulk buster though cheap 700 gold so i picked it up we got the ink pulp green goblin i absolutely love this one this might be my favorite green goblin variant uh, in the game currently definitely need to start working on getting a good split love ink pulp and yeah this one is a solid variant pick this one up we got the chibi mystique cute as always we got the baby variant of juggernaut another car i did not spend gold on this not really sure where i picked it up but uh yeah you know got kool-aid man busting through the wall here now if y'all been around y'all know i love the pantheon variants in the game this sauron is cooking this is hot yeah this is uh a great looking variant just I just need to, you know, I need to find some more uses for Star and have not played him in quite a bit. Now, if you pick up the Chibi Wolverine, you got to pick up the Chibi Cyclops. Love this one as well. The colors are so good in all of these. We got this thing. That's what it is, the thing. It's, uh, you know, it's not the my greatest favorite thing in the world, but we still got it. I <laughs> didn't spend gold. Uh, again, I'm not sure where this one came from. Now, this one is, is uh, you know, this is one of the best Null variants in the game, especially when it's animated and everything. Null is the card that I have the most variants for, and I'm not sure I've ever bought a variant for Null. I When I play Null, the hardest decision I have to make is what variant do I want to play? Uh, my goodness. But this one goes pretty hard. I love uh, all the Kim variants. This one is definitely no exception. And then ending it off with the Dan Hip Spectrum. Always collecting a bunch of the Dan Hips. So yeah, this is another solid one as well. So let's go ahead and recap today's episode. And then I'm going to let y'all go. Y'all have spent enough time with me today. So we did it again. We went 6 for 12 in today's episodes on rare splits. That the 50% win rate. Definitely can't complain about that. Heck, five of our cards in a row got rare splits, starting with Jeff and ending on Professor X. So let's take a look at them. We've got the Nebula finally inked out. Love this one inked. This looks so good. Then it was a bust on Quinjet. Angela, my goodness, we're going to be here for the next year trying to get that God split. Nothing happening on Havoc. Like I said, we started off pretty weak. But then we moved on. Oh, hold on. Hold on. That is not what we got. This is what we got. We Then we went to a God split, and this is where we got really hot. I'm, I'm super, super happy about this. Then we did get the ink on the base, but I've got it here on the custom card for the Luchador variant. This looks solid. It looks good, but this is the base variant. Then we got another ink on Nocturne. Uh, I love this one a lot. This is going to see a lot of play. And then, although it really didn't help us, we did get another ink on the Loki. Looking good. Just already had it, you know. And then we hit gold on Professor X. I'm just kind of concerned. I may not get to play this for a while. Who knows? I don't have any inner inside info. I just, I got that feeling, you know. Next up, a bust on the 3099 Arnim Zola. And then finishing off, not strong, a bust on Sasquatch as well. But let's end the episode on a high note. Let's end the episode on a high note. So here's what we're going to do. Y'all are going to come with me on this journey. I have never bought a border before, but I think, I think we're going to do it. I thought about the blue neon, which, you know, looks good. It looks good, but it's really not that far from this, you know? It's an upgrade, but it's not that much different. We got to go with the blue cosmic. I think I think Jeff is a card that deserves it. I think this is a split that deserves it. So we're going to do it. I'm, I'm doing my first purchasable golden border with y'all. There goes 900 gold. We got it. And then watch, bl the blue cosmic border is going to show up at the reduced price in my store. I'm like, gosh dang it. Oh, yeah. I'm happy with this. I think this looks great. And then we can swap out 
whatever variant we want oh my goodness looks so good and then we got the base as well yeah all these all these look good yeah i think it's it's i'm not saying it's worth it but if there's a card deserving it's jack so as always gang y'all be good y'all be safe i will catch y'all in the next one let me know down in the comments are you concerned about the collector's tokens? But more importantly than that, let me know if you've gotten any hot splits lately. And if you have, click my Twitter link, go to the viewer submissions for episode 22, even though it'll be for 23, drop them in there, and I'll be more than happy to showcase them in the next episode in the viewer submissions tab. Really looking forward to that. I'll see y'all around.